Well, hello there, everybody. It's Isoto Rail Productions, and we're here today again to start off our next lovely tutorial on the Rosewood Main Line. Uh, today's uh, tutorial will be on red code, as I announced like yesterday or last week, actually. Uh, and it's gonna be very short. I have to admit, it's red code is just a small station, not really big. But anyways, let's begin. Uh, so we're gonna go into our file that we made, uh, made part of the main line and wait for it to load. So as you can see, we are now at Shedfield, where we just finished off building from last week. So what's gonna happen now is that nothing has changed for Shedfield, so we're gonna move all the way down past Curlin. Uh, for those who don't know Curlin, Curlin is the third transfer station or second transfer station and this is what it looks like uh, so then now that we are going to pass Curlin we are moving down to the location where Red Coat will be built once you find the location where Red Coat is built it really a little bit of history about Red Coat though actually before we begin Red Coat is the second station I built or made uh, being that it's a transfer station for very limited services and it's close to the main line tunnel. So, it's time to get started and start building. What you're going to need to do is now let's open up our menu, open up our screens, do the same method where we move the track part, uh, portion of the section so we can get down to the location that we're actually, or the product that we're actually looking for. And then we now begin using the platforms. The platform I recommend using to fit is platform is a four um, four meter uh, four meter platform. My bad, I can't speak today. So four meter platform is what I would recommend using. And what you're gonna do is just to make it like a curved section. You're gonna just stop at a certain section and then add on to it after. And again, try not to have it cross through the tracks because you do not want trains to basically get damaged or something like that. As you can see, there are stuff in our way. So, how are we going to remove those? Simple. We are going to go and do the edit button and tap on those, and do the same thing as we did for the tracks, tap on either of those to remove all those problematic things. Normally, I would add a walk through track between the two platforms, but I decided to have one huge platform. So, I would recommend using the eight meter uh, cut to cross over to the before to fill in those missing gaps really
So once you finish off with all those neat uh, finishing off with the filling, we just do the same thing that we did for the other platform and add it on to there. done all that jazz the next step we're going to do is add details now things may look a little bit glitchy but it will straighten up after you finish switching on to something else so the next step that we're going to add is station to again choose any station you want doesn't matter So pretty much once you are done uh, building red code, join me. It's pretty much time for me to say see you later. But before I go, join me again as I will discuss how to build Sheriff Sutton Station, which is close to Sheriff Sutton Coal Depot. Again, see you later and prepare for episode 
10 and 9 of the Rosewood Railway Series.